the 17th already of January 2023. I'm Dana Durnford. Two syllables. Dana. I'm also known as the nuclear proctologist. And the nuclear industry calls me the Gamma Go. And you can call me at 709 589 4406. Hope you're having a great day. Unless you're with the nuclear industry, of course. <laughs> if you're with the nuclear industry, I can only wish the worst on you. <sighs> so the journal, there's a story going on right now that um, the Fukushima governor, Yuchi Bori, is in Los Angeles promoting, we need Kevin Blanks, let's Kevin, let's get him a air ambulance and get him down there and sort this out. He'd go, that's the sad part about that story, he'd go, yeah, let's get him data. Fukushima governor promotes local produce in the United States in during Los Angeles, I think it is, is that what I said? We'll get to the story. This is absurdness. Wait till you hear the story, my goodness. <clears throat> Welcome to What's Up? Hello, everybody. I'm on YouTube. <laughs> Almost. Well, not really on YouTube. I've been censored so much. I'm not sure where I am anymore. Consider subscribing or not, but don't forget to hit the bell. It might work. It won't work anyway, so thumbs up. Costs as little, goes a long way. And consider promoting me on every social networking site on the planet so we can put an end to this madness. Right, troll? <coughs> Nuclear <coughs> industry, like, what? <coughs> ah, me, me kill children. <coughs> That's the nuclear industry right there. Don't ask me, I don't know. So we're not going to be talking about tanks tonight. Tanks a lot, Dana. We've done two shows in the last two weeks on just the tanks. And so we we whooped that narrative because the media is not going to do it for us. And we're going to talk about bags. Oh, goodness. So would you eat food grown in a nuclear wasteland looks like that? Well, you're just disappointed. The nuclear industry. International Atomic Energy Agency admits there's no such thing as a safe level of radiation. Would you go shopping here? How about if we bring the food to you? Will you eat it then? That the standards they're using are based on natural stuff, not man-made nuclear stuff. <laughs> people don't know they're good people, Dana. They, they mean well. Did you know the nuclear, the IAEA has never said once that they agreed with a ban on 14 prefectures? Well, with a shake of a hand, Joe Biden lifted all the restrictions, skipped a few of his Alzheimer's pills, and removed the restrictions. They're so crazy, and Japan's so batshit crazy, that they're growing food alongside of one-ton bags of radiation in the middle of a nuclear wasteland that covers over half the country. And we're going to cover that. In the first year, there was 865,000 cancers, extra cancers, which is only one of 1,800 illnesses and diseases and autoimmune deficiencies and injuries and illnesses. But hey, no, I'm invisible. Radiation can't hurt me, Dana. I... Like, go down and mark on all of these bags, Dana is wrong. And we had to go mark on all of these bags, Dana is wrong. And go in all of these prefectures and tell them they're wrong. Tell 55 countries, you made a mistake. It's like a banana. So why'd you ban food for a decade? <coughs> yeah. You know why people ran away and left the cars there? Because they're smarter, apparently, than nuclear scientists and journalists. That's what journalists have been doing for 80 years. So, we got a and scientist, scumbag scientist and journalist. Uh, 
a journalist and scientist and scientist and journalist. What have we got down here, Dana? Uh, bear with me, folks. Journalist and scientist. Okay, so I'm trying to wrap my mind around this. I want you on, so you can wrap your mind around this. The grown food alongside a one-ton bags of radioactive fallout, and then they're trying to find somebody to take it. Canada has been a willing host for 11 years, but they got a lot of it. They got a lot of food. Okay, so like when you have a nuclear accident, you can't clean up land, particularly the harvest. It can't be done because the forests are shedding it all the time. The reactors are still melting down. There's a whole lot of issues. But a couple of years ago, Japan's media came out with this picture and a story saying, stop picking on the farmer, you know, destroying their reputations. Which is the same story I'm going to feed you tonight, by the way, from these guys. We can never get to it. Oh, we're almost there. This is, you know... <laughs> These are one-ton bags of radiation, and put tarps over them. <laughs> like that's going to work. It's still hemorrhaging from the reactors. Okay, we're almost there. We're getting to the to the two-hour punchline in a second. Alice in Wonderland was used to convince the children in the U.S. that nuclear power is safe. Alice in Wonderland. Thank God I can't remember. Every organism in Fukushima Prefecture where the rice he's promoting, as the story is right here at our fingertips, governor promotes Fukushima rice in Los Angeles. What did I say? I can't remember. Too late, doesn't matter. Every organism in Fukushima Prefecture is contaminated with radiation. Now, 55 is a normal evacuation zone. <clears throat> 180 is everybody has to evacuate. 1.4 million atomic decays a second per kilogram. You got to multiply that by 64 to get a square meter, which is not very big, but it has a lot of radiation. Now they're only acknowledging cesium-137. And so... Now you got to multiply the number by infinity to get the real number. And that's not bad enough, okay, what they're putting in the bag. 100,000 beckles a kilogram, by the way, minimum. They're grown food alongside the bags. And the whole world is not talking about that. How is that even possible? Okay, so... Takes us a few seconds. We got a video coming up in one, two, three, four clicks. Then we got a little tiny eight, ten more to get through, and then we start this, this story because it's complicated. Very, very complicated. All right, so. He's promoting food from this area here. Watch children play in a theme park in Japan. The character sings that it's very safe, efficient, and good for you. Nuclear power, right? And the photographer was kicked out promoting nuclear power in a theme park. It's like, it really is like some kind of cartoon or circus. Go down and mark on all of these bags, my detractors. Go down and mark on all of those bags that Dana is wrong. Here's the video. The governor of Fukushima in northeastern Japan is on a promotional tour of the United States. He's reassuring consumers about the safety of food from his prefecture, where treated water from a crippled nuclear plant will soon be released into the ocean. Uchibori Masao handed out cooked rice at a supermarket in Los Angeles. Many fishers and farmers in Japan have suffered reputational damage in the years since the March 2011 earthquake, tsunami, and nuclear disaster. 
Honestly, I have not. That's not been a concern of mine. I haven't really give, given that uh, much thought over over my um, you know uh, buying decisions. Uchibori also met officials of a supermarket franchise with dozens of outlets across the states. They agreed to import Fukushima rice with a target of 100 tons per year. The U.S. government lifted import restrictions on food items from Fukushima and 13 other prefectures in 2021. Exporting Fukushima rice to the United States is an important cause. It symbolizes our prefecture's recovery from disaster. <laughs> Japanese authorities plan to start releasing treated water from the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power oh, plant. You had to throw that in there, didn't you? Okay. Well, first off, uh, that's not his real hairstyle. And he, he looks completely out of place in that shirt, right? That's completely... He's never wore a shirt like that in his entire life, if you ask me. Or had his hair hang like that terrible way he's got done there. Well, I'm not concerned about Fukushima. I'm shit dumb stupid as they come. So I'm not worried about it. Radiation can't hurt me. I'm better than everybody. No, that's a public relation firm. That's what that fella was. So, Yichibori. Let me go back. This is pretty revolting stuff. Oh, 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 oh. Got to go back. Whoa, whoa. I'm going to give the food to this little American kid. Here, Timmy, take the food. Yummy Fukushima food. Now get away from me, you dirty little bastard. Okay. He, he's just cold-blooded. A reptile. The minute I lay his eyes, I'm just going to run away. It's hard to imagine something more frightening than Yuchibori giving that kid radioactive food. We'll get to that coming up. Then the five-year-old marching off to a radiated school playgrounds with Geiger counters strapped around their neck. This is a disgusting story tonight. This is holy shit stuff. I better not catch you in Canada is all I can say, buddy. Radioactive iodine found in 50% of the children's thyroid. 35,000 microsieverts. Do you really think it gives a shit about your children? Go down marking all of these bags of how wrong I am. Going on a counter nearly off the scale near playground equipment. Nursery school, for God's sakes. And the topsoil has been replaced, which meant you should have never went back. The parents should be arrested for child abuse, and so should that governor. Go down and mark on all of these one-ton bags how Dana's wrong. <clears throat> would you do this? If, if you wouldn't, then you can't work for the International Atomic Energy Agency. Officials sharply raised radiation levels for residents to get iodine pills after meltdowns. These are demons, eh? They're real-life demons here. 75 times higher than the crazies had it. The World Health Organization is batshit crazy just like the International Atomic Energy Agency and IRPA and UNSCREAR and IPCC, and they all wear the different pins, right? They're all on the same co different committees. It's the same hundred people. Worldwide screwing you. But that, like this is, we're getting to the story any moment here. One, two, three, four. Well, it starts basically coming up right now. So go down and mark on all of these bags of radiation. Yummy! Good for you. That way we don't have to listen to you ever again because you're going to get so radioactive. So one of the problems, probably the biggest problem, is 50 lousy becquels a kilogram in humans lead to irreversible lesions in the vital organs. Look up the word irreversible one of these days. Maybe this will resonate for you <laughs> if you're not panicking like me. Whoa, T, good. Dana, bad. And away we go. 50 becquels a kilogram. 
So we're going to march across Japan a little later here. I'm going to take you right across Japan and show you the, the numbers. You know, I know white American newspapers not reporting on it, and I mean not a single one, because Americans would sort that piece of shit out in a heartbeat. I don't even actually believe he's in Los Angeles. I don't think he got the guts to go to Los Angeles. Governor promotes Fukushima rice in Los Angeles, a... Uh, a hundred tons. <laughs> you really believe that's all they're shipping in? Women from Fukushima is as if to, and that's a lot, trust me. It's as if they're in a gas chamber. What, the rice, Dana? Yeah, but the children that we're talking about at the moment. The children are breathing radiation every month, every moment. So, like, to leave children in an environment like that, what does that say about those people? <laughs> the, uh, 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 in the, the entire nuclear despicable industry worldwide. Children are in an area with radiation doses. This is Japan's TV. Ten times the annual limit of just cesium. Uchi boys. Here you go, you little bastard. You eat that and die. And that's their cover photo <laughs> for, the, for the story. He's a wicked little bastard. We've been covering him for a decade. He's Dr. Evil um, all the time. Everything he does is with uh, evil intentions, eh? And he spent the first 72 hours after the nuclear meltdown started. He never slept. He'd done hundreds of interviews like, No, there's no meltdown. No, no damage. No, what a ice hole. The freak monster, the sadistic, twisted, demonic demon, the governor of Japan's northeastern prefecture, Fukushima, Yuchibori, Maso, which suffered reputational damage, reputational damage. The, like, 30 million one-ton bags is not reputational damage. Grown food there is evil. Saying reputational damage is... Like, whatever public relation firm dreamt that one up, we got to bring back burning people at the stakes so there's an incentive for them not to be evil because apparently there's no incentive. Following the March 2011, blah, 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 is promoting locally grown rice to the U.S. consumer, but the American media is not carrying it. Doesn't make any sense at all. So he's not even down there. There's no evidence. We don't see any evidence actually being physically there. Go down and mark and all of these bags how terribly wrong I am. Go down in this ghost town without... Take your children and go down there and hang out for a few days and tell me how much you feel better in the morning. Go uh, live right here and shoot your YouTube videos right there, lawyers. Fukushima, which suffered reputational damage following the nuclear accident. Well, <laughs> yeah, this is why you got like 160 sirens around some of the American nuclear power plants, usually around 100 within 10 miles, so you can get the reputational damage and run away from the danger, right? But what, like, I never heard that phrase until Fukushima, reputational damage applied in this particular... Yuchibori Maso is on a four-day tour in the United States to expand sales channels. He has a 60... a Japanese restaurant over there, or supermarket organization over there, are going to take the rice from him. Would you eat food grown in a country that looks like this, of nuclear fallout? And the little sadistic mass murder and monster, the most, well, probably the worst person in history, eliminates negative impressions of food from the of food from the nuclear wasteland. For, like, <clears throat> go down and mark in all of these bags. The food is safe. <laughs> go on, I double dare you.
What a sadistic, stupid country. What a stupid industry. So the International, uh, International Atomic Energy Agency, <clears throat> we're like, or the non the nuclear regulatory agencies or Greenpeace, like, where's, where's reality? How come there's no reality? How come the American media is not reporting on it? Only the Japanese media is out there gloating. That's it. A food produced in a nuclear wasteland. <clears throat> YouTube boy should shoot videos where he stands up in the middle of all this and cuts open the bags and starts eating the dirt out of it full of radioactive material instead of feeding. Because the radiation gets in your body, body attacks with white blood cells immediately for the rest of your life. That's a, cause, a serious cause and effect. I'll show you some of these examples. To eliminate the nasty rumors, the negative impressions, eliminate. What, like all the people in these towns, you eliminated them? On the first leg of his tour in Los Angeles, and they don't tell us where the next leg is going to be. No American media reporting on it. No bands playing and trumpets blowing. Yuchi Bori visited the supermarket and handed out cooked rice for people to taste. This is their bizarre Ten no Tasabu is original Fukushima rice bran. I'm making it up as I'm going to name them because I couldn't care less. We covered it when they first came out and, and for years after, where they said the rice doesn't uptake cesium, so you're going to be safe. <laughs> so if you drop your food on the ground at the supermarket or restaurant, rather, they they don't clean, pick the, the flies off it and put it back on your plate, right? Because it doesn't work that way. So how can radiation work that way? They cleaned up, like all the rice is coming from fields where they picked up thousands of one-ton bags of radiation and had nowhere to put it, so they left it there. They never stopped growing food. We've been covering this since it happened. You need to wake up. You, you need it, it's it's okay to wake up. It's it's a good thing. And if you don't understand what waking up is, fly down to Japan and and write on all of these bags. Dana doesn't explain what waking up is. Maybe Yuchibori, you can find him. He'll give you some Fukushima rice and do the world another favor. A local residents who tried to rice said the people will have concerns. How will they if nobody tells them what they're eating? I'll explain that to you coming up. They cleaned up the fields because, like, 14 prefectures were banned by 55 countries. And Fukushima is just one of them. It's right in the center where the actual ground zero, right? And so no matter where they grow food, they had to clean it up first. No matter where we're talking about this will become quite clear if you're not familiar with the subject as we meander through this. We'll change their minds once they taste it and learn the food and the water and Fukushima meets all the safety standards. Sure, that's what they say here in Canada, <laughs> but it doesn't. <clears throat> we'll change, but this is different. This is radiation. As soon as it gets in your body, your body attacks with white blood cells that displaces the red blood cells. The red blood cells carries oxygen and nutrition throughout your body. And, and the more you get, the less oxygen and nutrition and red blood cells you got because you got to displace them to have red blood cells. So it's like millions of little bullets going off inside of you every second, destroying your chromosomes and your DNA and your... Your cells, everything is attacked. So they're growing food in the, uh, in the rice fields around these abandoned communities. I'm not kidding you. I'll show you some of it coming up. It's even worse than that. They're, they're, they're batshit crazy. They're growing it right alongside the one-ton bags. It's bad enough, right, that they're growing it in Fukushima Prefecture. They're so they're so brazen to just uh, to, uh, just grow it right there. Oh yeah, I don't plant it right there. It's all good. Don't worry about it. It's a nuclear industry. Ain't nobody gonna question the nuclear industry on this planet. 
We'll roll out Greenpeace and Ernie Gunnerson and Helen Callercott and Ted Bundy and all the good ones. Yuchi Bore, we'll sort it out. Don't worry about it. Go down and mark all the bags. Dana Durnford is 100% round. The food is completely safe on every single bag. And I'll believe you once you're finished. There's only uh, 30 to 60 million of them. So you better get after it. The governor later agreed to supply Fukushima rice to an American supermarket, which is a Japanese owner's chain that operates 65 stores, 65 supermarkets across the country, with just that one store we're talking about, chain, right? There's many more. It's not just 100 tons. That's just this supermarket brand. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, we got 100 tons for you a year. We give you a good price. You make a lot dollar, big dollar. You want to buy stock and pharmaceutical, though. Very good investment. Yeah, I can see all the pro-nuclear running down and climbing around. Dana's wrong. Dana's wrong. Dana's wrong. Dana, you're wrong, Dana. The United States was among 50 countries that imposed import curbs on despicable Japan products following the massive event known as Fukushima nuclear meltdowns. Japan has promoted the safety of its farm products. It never stopped for years. <laughs> That's actually probably the only true sentence in the entire article, I'm pretty sure. Presenting various scientific data to strengthen this case. Yeah, I ate it. It tastes wonderful. It's pretty good. Let's get it to market. Let's do it. In September 2021, with a shake of a hand, and just before that, um, the UK Boris Johnson done the same thing. Taiwan done the same thing that year with a shake of a hand. Eight in 2018, Taiwan had a referendum. 2022, Taiwan, Taiwan behind closed doors done a handshake. Washington lifted import restrictions on a total of 100 food items from Fukushima and 13 other prefectures. That's 14 for us illiterates. <laughs> That's 14. What I don't understand is where the hell are all the protesters? They should be down in front of this demonic demon protesting him, shouldn't they? But I want your food, scumbag! Get out of here, you... You weirdo! Go get them, Sally! Yeah, you'd be pay spray-painted and probably buried in the hole in the woods. If the Americans find out what you're up to. Let's just do the show with these guys the whole time. There's these food! We'll watch your food! You get out of here, you weirdo from Japan. Get on, get out of here. <laughs> I'm with you guys. Hey, oh, 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 oh. Uh, yeah, you got Like, if you're gonna buy food where people are dressed in paper suits. Not because they're trying to be sanitary, but because they're scared shitless. Hey, here's a here's a nice relic from the past. That's very, very shows you the mentality of these creatures. Senior urged to eat Fukushima rice to help the farmers who shouldn't be growing rice. And protect the young people. This is the Japan Times. The biggest newspaper in Japan. The seniors, you know, the people that built the country, sacrificed everything. Worked hard all their life and, and have every right to retire without this kind of saddle. A Tokyo senior is waging an individual effort to get the elderly people to eat the rice grown in the nuclear wasteland known as Fukushima Prefecture, to help the local farmers 
struggling with rumors. Does that sound familiar? Or is it just me? That's March the 20th, 2012. They haven't even picked up a single bag yet. To help the farmers struggling with the rumors that their crops are radioactive and to make sure the grain isn't consumed by the vulnerable younger generation. So wait, it is radioactive? That's how much the media hates your guts. And what does that tell us about the population that they're willing to write a paragraph like that? What planet is this again? I'm confused. I thought we had humans on this planet. UT, former governor promotes local product in the United States of America, but we don't see a single image that says, he, oh, gee, he's in Los Angeles. We don't have any American media reporting on it. We just have that weird fucking video that I played earlier. That was some creepy shit, right? Consumers have shunned the Fukushima rice due to radiation fears stemming from the triple meltdown crisis. Gee, should they have shunned the rice? I don't know, Dana. Does 30 million one-ton bags of radioactive fallout warrant being a bit of concern? I don't know. Go down and write on the bags your answer. The elderly must eat the Fukushima rice. Nobody else is banned by 55 countries. The elderly got to eat it. But it's too poison. 55 countries says they don't want to do it. No, the elderly got to eat it. They must eat the Fukushima rice. You tell me this is not a demonic demon uh, industry? Come on. Come on, man. Don't do me like that, bro. You know what I'm talking about. It's just a matter of time for it all wobbling around thinking we're Spider Man, right? You know I'm right. You know it. It's either that, or I'll wake up one fucking morning. We're all gonna be this this guy right here, right? Well, probably already are in one sense, but give the kids the radiation or else we'll send the Hulk. Who's the Hulk? That's Uchi Buri, Dana. In the old days we dealt with our problems. We didn't have a problem very long because we dealt with it. <laughs> you know, like dealt with. Ah, uh, the good old days. Now we just sit around pretending. Uh, I don't know, what am I gonna do? Uh, I'm gonna get him to string him up. Ha <laughs> 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 Is calling on seniors to place orders by fax online via social networking sites, including Mixi and Facebook. How did that go? And you can call them at this number and fax them for orders. Nah, nobody will ever buy it. About 700 kilograms were brought by the elderly care facility in Tokyo. Well, they're dying. Yeah, it's going to wreck their last final couple of months, but hey, they're going to die anyway. The farmer's got to make a dollar. You just want to go grab and bury him somewhere, right? You know, in a bag of rice or something. Consumers have shunned Fukushima rice due to radiation fears because, you know, they actually had multiple reactors melt down, covered the whole country. They're still picking up one-ton bags. Now, he's he's giving away food to little kids in America. That's why, like, first off, any American seen that happen, he's probably a done deal, right? Get out of the way from that kid, you freak. What do we do? Do we sue him? Um... We're going to dark web and 
Never mind. About 700 kilograms were brought by an elderly care facility of highly radioactive food. This is the Japan Times with a fax number and then bragging, gloating. Before they picked, this is long before they picked up any bags on top of that. This, however, is minute compared to the Fukushima 240,000 ton annual rice yield. So you got to eat a lot of rice to pay for those bags. So let's um, check out the poll. Anytime you're ready, Dana. I'm getting there. Not as quick as it used to be, getting pretty old, you know. Should journalists and scientists who downplayed Fukushima radiation get a million dollar fine and lose their degrees? And permanent enemas. Let's do the mat, because I'm feeling a bit lucky tonight. Why do I, why is it whenever I feel lucky I can never get a lottery ticket? Did you know I've never actually ever bought a lottery ticket? Pretty pathetic, isn't it? But I've never gambled for money. Oh, it's still Fukushima, I guess. So let's multiply that by the metric, because they're metric, 2,200. That can't be too bad. How bad can that possibly be? Oh, that's uh, 528 million pounds in just Fukushima. Remember, 14 prefectures are banned by 55 countries, and they were all... Now, I give it, you know, Fukushima Prefecture is the biggest prefecture south of Tokyo. But there's a lot of prefectures, right? And 14 being closed, multiply 14 by this number, and what do you get? Well, let's multiply it by, say, 8. Let's downplay the numbers. That's uh, 4 billion, 228,000 pounds of rice. That's enough to feed the entire planet in a single day, right? Everybody get a radioactive dose. Or just wait for Uchibori to show up, I suppose. What am I doing here? What am I doing? What, what, what day is this? What year is this? I shouldn't say stuff like that. So my detractors can feel free to head on down there and write on these Millions and millions and millions of one-ton bags. Dana is wrong. Dana is fear-mongering. Dana is fear-mongering. He said his reason for doing this is not because he wants to help the Fukushima farmers who should be charged with genocide like Uchibori, but also because he wants to make sure elderly eat as much Fukushima rice as possible to prevent the children from accidentally eating the Fukushima rice. Now, there's some logic here, believe it or not. F well, for, for them, right? I'll, I'll exp the story explains it quite well, better than I'm ever going to do. Because there's no regulations obliging restaurants and makers of the rice boxes, the bento box lunch is what they call, to list the origin of the rice they're going to use. So there's no regulatory agency to stop them from selling food from a nuclear wasteland, is what they're saying, right? And that the nuclear industry immediately turned their backs on the planet when this happened. All of them. Or worse, came out and spammed the internet with propaganda to downplay it. Hence the poll we got tonight. So he's not supposed to be stood up there. That's, that's a horrific, harsh, radioactive environment. But the mass is not going to protect you. The... the the gear you're wearing can't protect you from gamma shines, x-rays, neutrons, alphas, betas. It can't protect you. You're in a caustic and toxic and very harmful permanently environment. This is not like a flu where it goes away after a while. It gets worse. You have less white red blood cells than white blood cells. By the way, they call that leukemia. And this may lead to children eating Fukushima rice. A little convoluted, I'm sure, but go mark on the bags how wrong we are. 
Therefore, why don't the elderly's potential for suffering health damages? Because they're talking about cancer, see? There's 1,800 illnesses, not just cancer. Not only that, your immune system is compromised. You're more susceptible now to pathogens and viruses and illnesses and diseases that were normally harmless and benign and innocuous. So the health damage from radiation is lower than it is for the youth. No, the youth are much more susceptible. They're 100 times more susceptible you disgusting parasite. And eat all of the Fukushima rice. Eat all of the 240,000 ton rice. The elderly. The people who built the country so they can come out and throw you under a bus. Did you build a country and fight the freedom of the country so you can have scum like this now to throw you under the bus? Let's send all the elderly in Canada to the nuclear waste dumps with picks and shovels to save money, right? Do you got any idea how that's not... They'll shoot you in the street when they see you, if you say that. Farmers are required... This is the biggest newspaper in Japan. Did I mention that? This is sanctioned then by proxy by all the, the other gobbledish lapdog medias. Farmers are required to check radiation levels in their rice. Farmers, not academics, not scientists, not these esteemed scholars. Not Greenpeace, scumbag Greenpeace, traitors Greenpeace. Farmers, I gotta figure out how to use the Geiger counter that only reads gamma. And if you get over 500 beckles a kilogram, they're banned from selling it, but if they mix it with rice that's not over the limit and brings the level down, you can go ahead and sell it. Now, they done that until late 2012, and then they dropped it down to 100 beckles a kilogram. That's where it's at today, per se. They're, they're not checking, folks. Because they had an extra 865,000 cancers, excess cancers in the first year, and not everybody got health care. Uh, here, here's the final story in this section. As fears linger, Fukushima rice rebounds under... Well, we'll just not say it's from Fukushima. This is a government worker from Fukushima Prefecture in Tokyo advertising rice from his prefecture. But he's the only time that didn't work. So what did he decide to do? Oh, and it rebounded. It's double the exports it was pre-Fukushima now. Worldwide. Thanks to Canada and a few other countries. The bulk of his annual harvest of 15 tons is designated for industrial use. This is this farmer. Mainly by convenience stores and restaurant chains. Chains it's like McDonald's and you, you, you can fill in the blank. And simply labeled domestic product which ends up on your shelves in America and Canada and Ireland and Scotland, United Kingdom and Australia and Africa and New Zealand. And where does it stop? When does it stop? Like, because there's no resistance, it gets worse. Do you get how bad this actually is, how late it is, how far down the rabbit hole we actually are? Because we are. And ain't nobody going to reach down and get your buddy ears and yank you out. Only you. You have to come up with solutions. I'm trying to motivate another million Danas to put an end to this madness. And so they just rope me in. What they call kettling, right? The British used to call it kettling decades ago. Well, he still do. The bulk of his annual harvest of 15 tons is used for his domestic product, not from Fukushima. Go down and mark on the bags how great Fukushima is. Go down and mark on the bags how great Yuchiburi is. Maso actually is. But rice from the northeastern prefecture still struggling to reach the pre disaster levels. Uh, this, what year was that story? 2019, it's past that now. 
The nuclear disaster took a heavy toll on the price of the rice. They shouldn't have, shouldn't have been growing it. It's okay, Dana. All the senior citizens who worked all their lives to build the country will. Let's dispose of them so the nuclear industry can have a shallow future. The ultimate betrayal, eh? Just an incredible betrayal to victimize the seniors of your country on that level. Where you poison them and make their deaths a hundred times worse, a thousand times, a million times worse. Premature and brutal. And, and done with callous, done with the in, evil intent, with the intentions to cause the misery. That's the nuclear industry, though. That's normal. That's, that's 80 years' legacy. If it didn't exist, imagine what kind of beautiful planet we would have. You have no idea. You really don't. Not everybody, but the majority of you have no idea. It seems like we never did have any birds, we never did have bees, like we never did have animals and in the trees, flocks migrating. It just yeah, kinda when I was young maybe. Nah, I can't really remember it. That's the normal now. Most people think that way. In a nuclear wasteland, the only thing's important is poisoning everybody else on the planet over and over and over and over and over in their supermarkets and bringing it home, poisoning their loved ones. The comeback has been driven by solid demand for industrial use rice from products sold at convenience short stores. By solid demand, because you don't label it, just it's cheap rice, you want it or not. You don't want it, your neighbor's got to the next... 7-Eleven chain will take it. The 7-Eleven chain took it, I can guarantee you. Worldwide, it is. The governor is promoting local product in the U.S., but there's no actual evidence he's in the U.S. Do you have any idea what kind of toxic environment that is? You're talking about 100,000 beckles a kilogram in one-ton bags. Pulsing energy. Like you, it's hemorrhaging physical isotopes into the environment. It's absurd. It's an absurd elixir of evil. According to a farm ministry survey, industrial use accounted for 65% of the shipments of rice produced in Fukushima Prefecture in the years through June 2017, one of the highest ratios in Japan. Industrial use, industrial use from a nuclear wasteland accounted for 65%. And so if you're a visitor or tourist going to the country, where are you going to eat? At the restaurants, right? No comparable figures are available, though, for pre-disaster period. Well, that's quite a coincidence. Not surprising, of course, but it's quite a coincidence. There is high demand for industrial use rice from Fukushima Prefecture. From Fukushima Prefecture. There is no high demand. There's high demand for unnamed rice. Which is cheap. Cheap. For its taste, you can't quantify radiation poisoning by taste. Because you can't taste it or see it or smell it or hear it or feel it or touch it or pick it up or throw rocks at it. Maybe you can, but I can't. Like <laughs> walking, walking. That's a spooky picture. People have no concept. The whole like this is only three percent of the country. The bags I'm showing you is a fraction of them, and they clean up three percent of Fukushima Prefecture rather, and it's surrounded by fourteen, thirteen other prefectures that are incredibly radioactive. So much so that they banned the food was banned, and fourteen of them those massive prefectures for a decade, there's still 12 countries banning the food because, who knows, it doesn't make any sense to, uh, to eat it. Industrial use rice often only carries a domestic label with no mention of the production area, right? Which contradicts what they're saying about the demand for Fukushima rice. It's a demand for an unnamed rice, a poison rice. 
And there's not a single discipline in a single university that spoke out about it. There was one professor in Japan who got arrested for protesting the burning of the radioactive debris. A herald to the country. Fukushima, given a child, a child in America, and everybody around and all the pictures and videos are Asian, it's pretty interesting. Go down America and all these bags, how great Japan and nuclear energy is. The prefectural government in October began sending the scumbag workers to rice shops across Japan to advertise the taste and safety from a nuclear fucking wasteland. Are you dreaming? No! This is normal. This is... We do live in the twilight zone. The twilight zone's real. And I'm painting you that picture. Japan promotes, the government promotes the idea you're racist if you're avoiding Fukushima deadly radioactive food. In a nuclear wasteland. Children with 11 becquels a kilogram start to see heart problems. And, you, and remember that one. That's super important. Because the numbers were going to start hitting soon. Sixty kilometers from the nuclear meltdowns, kids walk to school each day on a road contaminated with radioactivity of 70,000 becquels a square meter. And 11 becquels a kilogram is deadly to children. Imagine what it's like for animals and birds and insects. Imagine why you can't, because pretty soon you won't be able to imagine anymore. You'll forget. You have to go to YouTube to see what a fucking bird is. Kids walk to school each day on the road contaminated with radioactivity of 70,000 becquels a square meter. Like where I'm, where I'm to, everybody thinks I'm some fucking weirdo. <laughs> Who's this fucking weirdo? <laughs> I'm here to fucking fight for you like a dog every day, day in, day out, year after year, without fucking relent. Day in, day out. I, I fucking go to war for everybody on this planet. But particularly all the people in all the places that said those strange things about me. Nobody's ever tried to, to do more than I've done. I can guarantee you, in this area of the planet Earth, in Canada. Fukushima governor, I'm the Canadian son. I, am, I really am the Canadian son. I, I got all the attributes, unfortunately. And so they got to bury me. Fukushima governor promotes local products in the United States. Here, bring one home and give it to your baby brother. Japan sources warns clothing retains radioactive contamination. So does your hair. So don't go putting your fingers through your hair anymore. Closets and wardrobes register the highest levels. <laughs> oh, and laundry machines. <laughs> Door handles. Do you get it yet? Don't worry, you will. Fukushima girls have three times more thyroid cyst over 15 millimeters than boys and 79% more medium sized cyst than boys. And this is why I advocate you got to protect the female species, particularly the young of all species, not just humans, but particularly humans and all of the species. They, in proxy, try to protect the species, right? Do you get how insidious nuclear actually is? Uh, girls are four times more susceptible to getting sick from it. And there's 1,800 diseases, so pick your poison. Oh, that's right, there's lots to go around. It's called nuclear. Fukushima, demonic, sadistic demon governor promotes local product in the U.S. of A., but we don't see any evidence of being in the U.S. of A. We don't see the U.S.A. media. And the guy they had there, an American-type, British-type guy, didn't fit in the clothes he was wearing. His hair was completely dis... It didn't fall that way naturally. 
nobody at that age is going to have their hair like a freaking 16-year-old little street thug, right? Don't be a chicken, the mayor tells the parents who are concerned that the children are eating radioactive lunches. I got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of stories like that, by the way. I should do five or six shows in a row of just that stuff. That maybe that'll snap you back to this planet. But if you want to do me a favor, head down Fukushima. If you don't like me, you want to do me a favor, go down to Fukushima and mark Dana's wrong in all those bags. Don't be chicken. Japan's uh, Japanese mayor says the students are gaining knowledge by eating poisoned food in school lunches. There's enough crazies to go around. Unfortunately, with Japan, they're, they're running out of room. They got so many crazies. Disease-related deaths surged after 311. The hearts are unable to pump enough blood around the body. Um. We'll get to that. It's an important one. Thyroid cancer. I like, I like talking about thyroid cancers. F let's forget about the heart problems, liver, lung, respiratory, pituitaries, thyroids, adrenalines, the Alzheimer's, dementia, autism, the diabetes, the Down syndromes. Let's just only ever for say 80 years talk about c c cancer. And there's not, lots of that. There's not just thyroid. Not only that, if you're getting thyroid cancer from radiation, that's the gallows laugh. It means you got so much radiation in your thyroid, you have saturated your body with radioactive hormones. So that's children in particular, and young females in particular. We have to protect the female species from the nuclear industry, or there will be no future. They'll sterilize everything. The women goes first, obviously, right? All the species, too. And then, of course, there's no one to reproduce, so the males grow shortly after. So over 10, 20 years, after 10 years, we've seen now, and I got the research expeditions I've done, I can't switch that off. I can't pretend that never happened. I can't pretend everything is still normal. I'm just sorry. <laughs> I can't do it. Fukushima governor... Mass murder promotes local pregnant women used for decontamination activities. That's the same governor, all of this stuff. He's the governor of all of that, by the way. The pregnant women used for decontamination activities. Try making that up on your own. You think this, this is not a nuclear scientist? that done this. It's not nuclear academics or nuclear students or nuclear corporations. This is the homeless, the destitute, victims of society, the immigrants who don't speak the language, oh, and, you know, pregnant women and kids. Leading director in Japan, nuclear power generation, the only invention that may destroy the future of human beings. Yuchibori, I'll make sure it does. We're coming after you and your countries. What a demon to do that, eh? To go in, even to, f he's faking it as far as I can tell. But what a demon. Time to quit nuclear power altogether threatens the very existence of human civilization. Hello? Hello? Is there anybody out there that cares? <clears throat> Hey, who are you? You care? Hey, come back here! Don't go away! I want somebody who cares! <laughs> yeah, I get it. Threatens the very existence of human civilization, not from nuclear war, but from radioactive fallout and from 80 years of it. Deliberately, like the fuel pools from all the reactors are hemorrhaging, splitting the atoms into the environment. And every day it does it again. And it never goes away. Each day you have, you know, it's a Google number. It's beyond comprehension. The calculators can't possibly register these many zeros. They have to break it up. 
Go down and write on all the bags how wrong I am. Human civilization may destroy itself. I mean, look at Fukushima. And this is a... It's a Japanese company owns 60 supermarkets. And this is them promoting the celebration of 100 tons as Yuchi, the mass murder in Bori and Amaso in the, in the center. Nobel Prize winner on NHK. The only way to preserve human life is to kill everything in the nuclear industry and kill it right fucking now. Because it's trying to kill you. Radioactive cesium is causing holes in the hearts of the children. Oh, this is great. Yuchi Boris must be so proud of himself. Yuchi Boris, I'm going to go down and market all these bags. Dana Durnford is wrong. Pre Fukushima, 0 0.1 Beckwell a kilogram was considered too much, but uh, allowable. After Fukushima, it was 500 Beckwells a kilogram, not 100 Beckwells a kilogram. That came along in 2012. Right? Children with 11 Beckwells start to see heart problems. It's all downhill for your loved ones and your precious after that. Your pride of your eye is dead, they're in for hell after that. There's 1,800 diseases and they ain't escaping it. And now Yuchi Buri says, well, you know, the elderly are not eating enough rice. Let's go to America. Irreversible heart damage for children with 50 beckles a kilogram. With 50 beckles a kilogram for adults is irreversible lesions. It's the same thing for the children, but also irreversible heart damage for the children. For the adults, it's common. Just a few more of those quickie meals. You'll be getting... Your dose that'll affect you for the rest of your life. See, because your body immediately, forever, produces more white uh, blood cells for all the radiation. If you're eating it and drinking, you have to produce more white blood cells to deal with it. It's forever. Which means you have less energy until eventually it catches up into you. CC1 and now for the birds and insects and animals is catastrophic because they're so small. CC-137 immediately damages the heart muscles. So how many people are going to be eating this radioactive wasteland food? They shouldn't be growing food in Fukushima. That's, there's no acceptable reason to do it. Extreme increase in mortality caused by heart disease, Japan's author, in Fukushima. The death rates might give the creeps to some people. It was up 12.5% compared to the same month of the year before, an extra 12,700 deaths just by heart attacks and cancers and cardiac diseases. That's just a single study. I'll show you some more coming up in a bit. That's, you're not safe to be that stood there, let alone hang out there, let alone work and do that. You're not safe in America. It tends to concentrate in the testicles. So this is why all the species are disappearing, right? It, they get, they're much more vulnerable than a child or an adult is, see, of a human. Tends to concentrate in the testicles. This is the sulfur peroxide hydrogen buckyballs. This is hot particles, 360 of them a day inhaled by Californians. Every man, woman, and child. And every bird and insect and animal. So this is a sadistic industry. This is a revolting, parasitic industry. That is not, that's not acceptable. Um, they're way ahead of you on that, by the way. It's not illegal to poison you in America or Canada or anywhere else on the planet. The Congresses, Congress and the parliaments and diets don't have the authority to make it illegal to poison you with radiation. It is illegal with cyanide and barium and mercury and everything else, but, but not radiation. <coughs> There's some videos for you from today at the end of the show. To those who are good. 
And if not, if you're in California, well, bummer. Fukushima gives radiation meters to pregnant women. I'm trying not to scream at this stage. Fukushima gives radiation meters. These are not meters. They're, they're dosimeters, but you can't read them yourself. You've got to send them to a university, a.k.a. lab rats. It's illegal, right, to do this, by the way. That didn't stop the British and Americans. Fukushima gives radiation meters to the pregnant women and the children. To, to make them feel safe. 75,000 of them. They have to walk past millions of one-ton bags to get to school every day. That's not child abuse. What is? Ah, oh, the Fukushima rice. Oh, that's how God. We love you a long time. So congenital heart disease operations 2019 study rose 14% after Fukushima. Thanks a lot, Yuchi Bori. Per 100,000, which translates into extra 14,200 open heart surgeries for neonates and infants across the entire country, not just Fukushima. This is just one of the many, many marvelous miseries this industry dishes out. Do you really think that's just for children? Does animals get open heart surgery when they're born? Do they have doctors checking on them? Foxes and birds and bees. No. That's such a creepy picture, isn't it? Where he's given a child, allegedly an American in Los Angeles, but there's no evidence he's in Los Angeles. There's nothing. So it's highly unlikely he's in America. The media didn't even report on it. And the media knows everything about this man. So, 35.8% of Fukushima children have thyroid cysts or little small tumors. It's 13,646 out of 40,000. It used to be one or two per million. So, when you scale it up, it's 358,000 out of a million. And, and, but that's just one of 1,800 illnesses and diseases, not only deficiencies and injuries and illnesses. They found plutonium in every sample. In every sample. But he's grown food there in the nuclear wasteland. And there's no, we can't just, you know. The slower you spread radiation dose, the more effective it produces cancers and inherited diseases and illnesses, not only deficiencies and injuries. Japan is going the very best way to destroying the world. And Yuna Yuribuchi, batshit, is leading the charge. A doomsday like radiation release, doomsday. Which was our poll last night, by the way. At Unit 4, it would be a global catastrophe. And, of course, Reactor 4 was already gone. This is hyperbial, but it was meant as a deception. It's like saying Yuchi Bori is a good person. It's hyperbole. It's simply not true. Not true. Bear with me. Why does the in uh, nuclear industry have so many evil people? How does that actually work? We got Mike. So, hang on. Almost ready. Rock and roll. And oh, hey, nice. We are going to die. <laughs> Go ahead, Mike. How are you? This is Michael Shell from Ontario. Yeah. How you doing, Mike? Uh, I'm doing all right. I, I was, I'm healing up for. Uh, I have a leg injury. I was uh, working out too much in the gym, and uh, I did too many leg presses, so... Uh, Blew back you know, on the uh, My upper thigh uh, says, well, you're going to need a week to uh, walk that up. Wow. Yeah. Must be nice. I, I remember when I was young, I done that. I don't do that no more. 
I have another way to bust myself up. I'll show you videos at the end here. <laughs> And, uh, you know, are you, uh, are you still prepping up for, uh, springtime, uh, you know, uh, taking a walk around the water? The spring? Yeah. I'll be heading on the ocean this spring, yeah. Uh, you know, some of us would like to support you with, uh, the gear you need. Yeah. I, I need a motor. <laughs> I'm frigged without a motor. That's the... I'm laughing because he took down my site last year with 24,000 subscribers. I wouldn't have to worry about it. Now I have to worry about it, right? Because the industry, it was a great move for the industry. Uh, you know, I had 1,300 presentations up there on top of that. They, they got rid of them. They were connected to blogs all over the world, plus all these years of expeditions were gone. But I, you know, who knows? It's frightening anyway, you know? Yeah, I mean, uh, when you talk about sometimes the uh, food in the grocery stores and the uh, uh, babies with mutations, yeah, that's, uh, those, are, those are frightening, uh, you know, sentences and paragraphs. Yeah, everybody should be exposed to it. Uh, yeah. Right, you know? We're exposed to all the other nasties. There's there's 300 chemicals out there that are labeled as food, but they're chemicals. And you can actually make a chocolate bar when you use no chocolate, just any of the 300 combination chemicals. And it's legal. That's, and the worst thing you can do to a human is give them food that's not actual food, but just chemicals. And they do it. And so, right, how did we ever get to this point where that could happen? Now, how did we get move ahead to this stage? And all of those chemicals were grandfathered in in 1979 when the Environmental Protection Agency was officially on it. Uh, they just grandfathered in 60,000 chemicals with no human and environmental impact studies whatsoever. Oh, we'll get to it later. Because that's industry, see? And uh, that... I mean, there was a lot of the chemicals that were being produced, like Agent Orange, for instance, and uh, DTT and stuff like that. That was absolutely wrong to have uh, for sale or in the environment itself, right? These are long-term catastrophic uh, things. And so because there was no one, no one held them accountable, there was controlled opposition only allowed it was and was promoted through this... Um, bizarre thing to call medias yeah no we're in deep water and uh, I'm doing all the talking you're doing all the calling uh, anything else you'd like to <laughs> well I could do a little more talking uh, I know a little bit about uh, Asian Orange uh, I was friends with a professor here at the university here in London Ontario Canada his name was Dr. Joseph Collins and he was one of the few men in the world who would go to court and oppose the industry when they said uh, Agent Orange is uh, safe in your community. He would go <laughs> and he would, he would, he would, he would No, no, I'm just laughing uh, it was safe in your communities, yeah. They, like they say then, yeah, there's a scattered... There is, there is, you know, there's a lot of people out there before us, you know, that have screamed to the top of their lungs, and I'm just doing my part, right? And I'm, uh, the problem with me was I done all this research, and what we discovered is whole shit stuff, uh, and the world is living in denial, and you you can't just live. I don't know, maybe you can, but I don't think the world can continue to live in denial and have a future. I, it's pretty clear to me anyway, and I'm able to quantify those types of assertions with the documentation. It's not a conjecture. It's not an opinion. And you are very good with proof, and, and uh, even if it is your opinion, it's still fact. Well, I should be allowed to have opinion after all these years, actually. It's a good point, Mike, because I actually don't have an opinion. When I do have an opinion, it usually can get me arrested, and so I usually keep it to myself, right? 
My my opinions are not nice enough to say on the internet, apparently. <laughs> About the nuclear industry. I, I, I mean, you know. I think anybody can guess what I'm thinking when I talk about nuclear industries. I'm a very public person, right? I, you know, I'm, I'm uh, for a very long time, and I, I, there's a lot of problems with that when it comes to evil. Evil can can take advantage of that. So I got to be careful that I don't leave myself vulnerable. But I think I'm past the stage of that now. All I can do is. Um, I'm not. I'm not evil. No, I'm not saying that, obviously. We're talking about the nuclear industry. I'm just well, saying... Well, not obviously, but uh, no, I just want to reassure you. No, no, I'm not... I didn't point my fingers at you. I'm just talking about the nuclear industry. I can't say out loud, right? Uh, what I'm trying to say is what I, I can't say out loud what I should be said about the nuclear industry without finding a way to make it... Like, when you're sitting around with your friends, you can speak freely, right, is what I'm saying? I have no friends. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, yeah, at one time you must... for a decade. At, at one time you did. You sp if you're sitting around yeah. with somebody that... Like the professor you were talking about earlier, you can speak freely. I, I can't speak freely. Yeah. Because, um, oh. a pe you know, it's not a... As far as I'm concerned, it's not... I should rephrase all of that, actually. It shouldn't be a crime to call murder murder. But it is. Correct. Yeah, but it is. It shouldn't be a crime to to speak uh, strongly of evil and call them what they actually are, particularly when there's nobody holding them accountable for being super villains, you know. These are the suffering um, warrants that somebody should speak strongly. And I've, I agree. I, I've been arrested for speaking strongly before, right? I, uh, I saw the, the case you put up on the, your site and, uh, you know, uh, the support you had, uh, even in the so-called quote-unquote defeat, uh, that, that uh, warmed my heart. Yeah, no, I hear you, Mike. Yeah. No, uh, I'm gonna let you go because I still got absurd All amount right. absurd list or something else you gotta throw out there. Uh, I would like to say I can I join chat except maybe James Lewis, but possibly I would say yes to James Lewis. Because the phone call last night that was bullshit. I don't know what he was doing, but oh yeah, his normally we love his phone was screwed up, yeah. That happens sometimes when people are doing it. Not very often, though, but it happens once in a while. Is he on drugs, or, like, does he need help? I'm, I'm lost. Okay, listen, I'm going to let you go, James, and uh, All right. try to get through All the right. show here. Thank you. Okay, my friend. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Good night. Yep, good night, James. I called you James, Mike. I was reading James' comment or Take the wheel when I'm seeing double. I was speeding in the chain control. I'm confused, but I got to read the because I can't pay attention to the comments. So I start reading the comments. I get I'll get lost. My apologies, everybody. So Fukushima reactor three and reactor four. Well, there's the stumps. So there must be a joke in the comments section. I missed it. That's not fair. I like jokes too. <laughs> uh, let's go over to the poll. Where's the poll? Hell, where's Dana? Should journalists and scientists who downplay the Fukushima radioactive fallout radiation get million dollar fine and lose their degrees and uh, that's how i feel right is a beginning point yeah they should get the death penalty for what they're doing i'll get there at some point <sighs> nuclear fallout will engulf taiwan 
somebody f stupid enough to stand in front of the bank doesn't make it safe. Taiwan, at least Taiwan said people should stay home, take off their clothes and get rid of it. Now you Chibori is like, oh, I'm just going to go to America and give the children radioactive food because adults will punch me out if I do it. Tokyo should no longer be inhabited. Tokyo. I was 250 kilometers away. Everyone here is a victim of Fukushima. People are truly suffering, bleeding under the skin, urinary, hemorrhaging. Uh, well, the industry is insane. 29 million beckles a square meter in the soil. And so they're trying to move people out of Tokyo because you're going to see a statistical die-off. Right now they're blaming it on the scamdemic. But it's Fukushima, right? It's like 5,000 this month already. It's the radiation. See, they're poisoning everybody. You don't live forever and then you start dying off and dropping everywhere. Uh, you'll see diabetes skyrocket, Alzheimer's, dementia skyrocket. And monsters, actual real-life monsters like Yuchibori and Maso. U.S. government radioactive materials from reactors two billion times more toxic than industrial poison. Radiation is like explosions going off in your cells and blowing holes in your DNA and your chromosome. Yochi Bori. Go down and write on all of these bags under those tarps how safe it is. Radioactive rain costs 130 schools in Korea to close. Yet California was absurd numbers, actually. And they say the buildings don't look like that. They say everything is perfect. You can eat shit off the floor. That's the two official pictures. One of them's not real. I can't tell the difference. They both look the same to me. The ambassador Morita, U.S. ambassador um, from Japan, the American ambassador, writes to the U.N. Secretary General that is no exaggeration to say the fate of Japan, the fate of Japan, and the entire planet depends on a number four reactor, you know. The division Iran built nuclear fuel rack. Sorry. Let me turn that down a little notch. The division Iran built nuclear fuel racks for boiling water reactors exactly like Fukushima. That's so creepy, man. That's just so creepy. Let's put that on the big screen. Just watch them. The division Iran built nuclear fuel racks for boiling water reactors exactly like Fukushima. And I put them up where the fuel pools are to show you that. Like now, if he done that for 70 reactors in America. Like 70 reactors, the same exact same design. That's where ABC and the rest of them shot their videos. We're at Fukushima Reactor 4. Hold your drawers. So food was banned in half the country, the big prefectures. Because, you know, it's radioactive wasteland, right? And it was warranted to block it. Look at that. Look at this. Radioactive sewage 30 miles from the nuclear meltdowns that your excrement was 334,000 Beckwells per kilogram. Anthropogenic. So you get this in your body. You're getting so much that you're excreting that kind of a number. This is why you see like 12,700 extra dead people with heart attacks, an extra 865,000 in a single year with cancers, 14,200 children out of 100,000 got to get open heart surgery, and that uh, 365,000 out of a million children with thyroid assists and little, little small tumors, but females got four times more and larger by 70%. And uh, obesity doubled in the first year. And six out of 10 Fukushima children with diabetes. And uh, 
the Tokyo Medical were saying they were expecting the children from Fukushima to get or to get children to get diabetes from Fukushima's contamination. Debris near Fukushima nuclear power plants ground up and burned in other parts of Japan, so no food is safe. Certainly not that. There are a billion pounds of radioactive quake debris to be burned. So that's not going to contaminate everything again and again and again. They found plutonium in every sample. Does that sound like a fun place to hang out? Food? Iodine-131 detected in Tokyo at multiple locations. The, the garbage was too radioactive. The ashes left over were 70 plus thousand beckles a kilogram. So imagine how much it liberated into the environment by trying to... You can't destroy it. See, all you can do is just liberate it back into the environment with the 3,000 degree Fahrenheit temperatures and incinerations. You can't get rid of the sediment from the water reclamation, the water filtration facilities. There was one up, not a big place, had 50,000 one-ton bags a water sediment was too radioactive to get rid of, which meant that you had to poison everybody to end up with that sediment. And these filters are very terrible at filtering the water. And so the studies on the dogs, you can't compare that to the humans because a dog's kidney is 50% more effective at removing the radiation than a human kidney. But that's the game, see? Sewage is too radioactive across the entire country to get rid of. And that's not the way his hair falls. That shirt doesn't fit right on him. There's nothing about him. He's the only English person type, because uh, you're supposed to be in America, right? In the U.S. of A. He's the only guy in the video that was English. Everybody else was Asian. It's very suspect that it's not. It doesn't seem, nothing seems right. And who cares, you know, even if you are in the USA. How come the USA media, which are vultures, if he's out at the supermarket, there's zero possibility. Now, when you search him, Yuchibori, Maso, you search him for the last week, not a single story, including the one we covered tonight, exists. You think that's an accident? And he's out promoting radiation in America? Four-day tour? Is Joe Biden going to eat some rice like Boris drinking the peach juice last night? Delicious, delicious. What is it? Fukushima. That was surreal. Surreal. Massive radioactive waste built up in Tokyo suburbs. Oh, get on Fukushima rice. Number one. You guys, great rice. Tokyo official blast parents who wants kids to avoid ingesting radioactivity at school. It's important to shear the cancer. Free houses for pregnant women. Radioactive fallout around Fukushima incineration plants are being hidden. Very weird. First time since the meltdown, surge in radioactive cesium levels causes incinerators near Tokyo to shut down. There was one of the incinerators where three of the employees had heart attacks. Uh, within hours of each other. <laughs> they couldn't get rid of the ash because it's too radioactive. And they're trying to convince themselves that everything stays in the ashes, nothing gets liberated into the environments. And, and the whole world is just kicking a can down the road, nothing to worry about, everything is good, I'm going to live to be a thousand. Tokyo neighbors see some approaching levels found in Fukushima. The incinerator dust is 70,000 beckles a kilogram. Black substances in Minamasoma, seen all over Minamasoma, at a million beckles per kilogram. So 64 million beckles a square meter of just gamma. And so that those guys own the supermarket chains apparently in America. Well, they spent billions and billions and billions and well, they stole billions and billions and billions on the fake cleanup, 
And so they invested in supermarkets in America, and now they're going to ship the rice over there and get you when you're trying to be a patriotic. 10 million beckles a kilogram. That's over 600 million beckles a square meter, folks. Of just gamma, just cesium. And they're growing food during shipping it. Japan government did not reveal the plutonium 241 detection. It was 50 times higher than the total of the other three plutonium isotopes. Which is why they didn't mention it. So, the grown food in Fukushima Prefecture. Let, let me take you on a little tour. My own little special thing for everybody. How are you? Okay, so... This row here, average disposition density of 137 cesium on the soil. The second row, this one here, is population. And this one is the name of the communities. All right, so hang on tight. This is the average absorbed doses of red bone marrows by Unsclear, the degenerate UN Unsclear, the scum of the scum of humanity. So this row is Beckwell's per square meter of just gamma, just cesium, not the other gammas, but just cesium. That's f they won't acknowledge the other thousand fission products. Scum like that. UN said there's no health effects from a nuclear disaster in a nuclear wasteland. UN! What's the point of having them? What's the point of them existing? Japan, Fukushima, premium rice. There's zero possibility Hear me loud, hear me clear. There's zero possibility that they're in America with a sign like that. Zero. You are not going to see that in any supermarket anywhere. Nothing. Never. You're an expert. Yeah, no, go ahead. Die, bastards, die. We're in the nuclear industry. Fukushima radiation not harm the population's health in the United Nations. And there's... Look at the picture they're using. So you're going to tell me all these communities, that population, with these doses, per, just gamma, is perfectly fine. That's right, Dana. <laughs> so this is, these are supposed to be evacuated. 55 is supposed to be the evacuation of the community. 180 for sure. All of these are well above 180. Subtract 180 from any of these numbers, you probably won't even notice it if you go to the bathroom and come back. All of these communities. So there's nowhere to grow food that's safe, see? No matter where you grow it, it's a nuclear wasteland. No matter where you're growing food. Look at all of these communities and tell me that everything is not irradiated. I double dare you. 20 million becquels a kilogram, which is a billion. <sighs> it's absurd, right? It's 2 billion, is it? I can't even do my math tonight. Poor Dana. Well, I got a better idea. Let's put it up on the screen. Because nothing says, holy shit, like seeing it with your own two eyes, does it? Where are the two of his toe? So 20 million. It's a nice round number. Multiply it. It's actually 68, but we'll do 64. We're going to lowball it. is way too much per square meter. 1.3 billion, billion with a W, William. 1.3 billion, 1.3 billion per square meter, 1.3 billion. Oh, just cesium. Perfect spot to grow food, Dana. 
How could that possibly go wrong? More ways than I can explain. So 50,000 becquels a kilogram of cesium found in the soil near Tokyo. Again, cesium. Like every time I hear the word cesium, I want to punch a nuclear scientist out. Every time. It's weird, isn't it? After all these years, I finally can't take it anymore. I finally cracked. I finally lost it. I finally lost it. 175 billion becquels flow per day in just one river in one city, 60 kilometers from the meltdown. But again, they're, these are absurd numbers. These are snowstorms. You just can't see it or smell it. Yeah, no, everything is so contaminated. 6.15 million of becquels a square meter detected 60 kilometers from another research. Uchibori's like, eat the rice, get sick and fucking die. 500,000 becquels a kilogram of cesium 75 miles from the plant. 4 million becquels in a major city did not come from the much talked about iodine and cesium. This is curium, is what these bags are full of. 100 kilometers from it, 150 kilometers from the high levels of radioactivity here, 150 kilometers from Fukushima is as radioactive as areas close to the nuclear meltdown. So that's permanent. That's never going to go away. The proof is in the slag, in the sewage. 170,000 becquels a kilogram in Tokyo sewage. Governor promoting local products in the U.S. of A. without going to the U.S. of A., Without the media in the USA reporting on it. It doesn't make any sense, does it? Isn't the idea of promoting, promoting? Following from Fukushima causing problems 180 kilometers away, it's all become no good. Contaminated wild vegetables, fish, game. Yeah, of course. You're, you're in a nuclear wasteland. What do you think is going to happen? Mysterious radish radioactive substances 180 kilometers from Fukushima alpha particles 4 million in Chiba 20 kilometers from Tokyo Really I'm not surprised are you surprised I'm not surprised 23 dollar 99 cents gets you leukemia heart problem living problems we take care of you big time <clears throat> they must be getting kickbacks from the pharmaceuticals. Japan, Fukushima, premium rice. There is no possible way they're in the U.S. of A. with a fucking sign like that. Zero. 20,000 becquels a kilogram of disgusting cesium in kindergartens. A kilogram. So we're, these are worthless people, aren't they? <coughs> Starting to choke out. Time to go for the tea. Look. Maybe I'll play that video of again and go get my Robitus and syrup and f get my throat under control here so we can finish the soup. Bear with me for these technical difficulties. Now, did I lower his volume? Let me do a test run here. The governor of Fukushima in northeastern Japan is on a promotion. Yeah, I got it. Okay. I'll play that. I'll be right back with magic. Uh, some magic. Cause my throat is starting to die. We, and I got too much to get through. The governor of Fukushima in northeastern Japan is on a promotional tour of the United States. He's reassuring consumers about the safety of food from his prefecture, where treated water from a crippled nuclear plant will soon be released into the ocean. Uchibori Masao handed out cooked rice at a supermarket in Los Angeles. Many fishers and farmers in Japan have suffered reputational damage in the years since the March 2011 earthquake, tsunami, and nuclear disaster.
Honestly, I have not. That's not been a concern of mine. I haven't really give, given that uh, much thought over over my um, you know uh, buying decisions. Fujibori also met officials of a supermarket franchise with dozens of outlets across the states. They agreed to import Fukushima rice with a target of 100 tons per year. The U.S. government lifted import restrictions on food items from Fukushima and 13 other prefectures in 2021. Exporting Fukushima rice to the United States is an important cause. It symbolizes our prefecture's recovery from disaster. So did the Olympics. <laughs> Japanese authorities plan to start releasing treated water from the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant this year. Officials plan to first dilute it well within safety standards. Here it comes crossed out and now trying to kick the shit out of him. And his brother and his uncle and his aunt too. Air samples in Tokyo 270 times more contaminated than global weapons follow peak of just gamma. Selective amnesia, I think they call it, is it? Should journalists and scientists who downplayed the Fukushima radiation get million dollar fines and lose their degrees and a stick up their earth? Hey, I'm the nuclear proctologist. What do you expect, man? <laughs> Government simulation showed radioactive plume over Tokyo when Reactor 3 exploded on the 14th. You got the field cleaned up? What do you want? Can we start working, planting crops? Oh, yeah, you don't have to stop because of us. Said the homeless that were cleaning it up and the pregnant women. 300,000 becquels a square meter radioactive iodine. I really hate the word iodine. It's an important isotope, right? It's a very, very harsh isotope. Don't get me wrong. But there's real boogeyman out there. Don't get any love at all. Deposited in areas near Tokyo for the end of March. Only includes 131. There's 10 times more 132, 30 times more 133, 31 times more iodine 129, and 132, 133 iodines are nine times more effective than the 131, which is unbelievably effective at destroying all the species and children and animals, and mammals, and birds, and insects. Fukushima governor promotes product in the U.S. of A. I don't believe he's there. There's no evidence he's there. High radiation levels near Tokyo linked to Fukushima. Yeah, well, where else is 29 million becquels a square meter coming from uh, exactly, specifically? That's just after a rainfall. It never goes away, and it rains again. Even the fog is radioactive. So they're just burying the bags now in the ground. Problem, solution, reaction. The bags only meant to last a couple of years. All the time it rains, go straight through all the bags and into the water tables. Nothing could possibly go wrong with that. That's brilliant. Only Japanese can come up with a great idea like that, I bet. I hope, anyway, to <laughs> tell you the truth. And Canada's pretty nasty, man. The nuclear industry in Canada is a whole different level. I don't think they... I don't think they can compete with Japan's evilness anymore. Tokyo drinking water unsafe, that's permanent. They got to get everybody out of Tokyo because you're going to have mass die-offs. Remember that story earlier? The elderly should eat the Fukushima rice, all of it, so the children didn't eat it. You're supposed to lock it up and, and put it in a nuclear repository forever. You're not supposed to feed it to people. It's not an industry, it's just something, it's an exceptional evil. High radiation at Tokyo. Really? How come? I can't figure that out. 70% of Japan is polluted, the rest of it is incredibly radioactive. Experts worry about catastrophic impact on health. 
Yeah, what about the species though? What about the species? And they don't produce eggs anymore. 276,000 becquerels of radioactive cesium against cesium. I apologize for the lies they tell you. 18 million becquerels a square meter. Tokyo's drinking water at 300,000 becquerels a square meter in the surrounding areas. And again, only talking about cesium. Anybody that talk, only talks about cesium should be, uh, should lose their degree and get a million dollar fine. Uh, like, when, uh, the idea of using iodine in this context, because then they'll come out and say, well, it's only got an eight-day half-life. Oh, and people like it's gone in 16 days, right? Like, not really, but you can you can believe that if you want to. I mean, this story defies, this picture defies, absolutely defies uh, humans. This should never, this pit type of, you know, not even Photoshop, this picture should never exist. Pre Fukushima, that's inconceivable, right? That would be a horror show on Netflix, but not real. Soil from Fukushima, radiation decontamination work to be reused in farmland. <laughs> you weren't ready for that one, were you? That's a low blow. It's like Dana kicking you between the legs, that one. Soil from, let me, I gotta read that again. Don't get any, there's no lack of evil is the problem, see? They, like, they're, like they're all trying to outdo themselves in the nuclear industry. Oh, I could be more evil than that, watch this. Soil from Fukushima radiation decontamination work to be reused in farmland. In a no-go zone where nobody lives. Community is completely void. It's a couple of kilometers away from ongoing multiple nuclear meltdowns. <laughs> I'm finally cracking up. After all these years, I finally lost. I finally wigged out. <laughs> this story really gets under my skin, eh? In more ways than you can imagine because of the harm. An uh, idiot... This is a great name, by the way. A farmland development project testing reusability of soil generated from radiation decontamination work after nuclear power plant reactors melted down. Carried out by the Environment Ministry in a restricted, difficult to return zone, aka right here. And this was a repository. Until recently, now they're just going to grow food. They're going to cut the bags open and grow food in it. In a difficult to return zone, in a no go zone, a couple of kilometers from on go, multiple nuclear reactors melting down. <clears throat> You're not going to find that on Wheel of Fortune, are you? So they put all the victims, not all of them, but a lot of the victims in these little tiny buildings. They sold them to um, Miami about six years later when everybody stopped paying attention and threw them out on the streets. And they have vending machines that will sing, don't give up on Fukushima when you put some money in it to get a Coca-Cola. It'll start singing to you, don't give up on Fukushima. Uh, and they got no food, no water. You know, they're, they're regular from the nuclear industry, right? New York Times, government said nothing to fear in Tokyo. Then came to test results. 1.5 million becquerels near a church in the capital. Oh, I got this rice. It's from Tokyo. Tokyo area soil testing finds radioactivity at Chernobyl. 919,000 becquerels per square meter. Y you know why they abandoned the community? Because you can't see it or smell it or taste it or hear it or touch it. And that's what they should have done with Tokyo. 
Doctors finding uranium zirconium from the cladding in Tokyo residents' fingernails were becoming nuclear fuel rods. That's an understatement. So are we. So are we. Government simulation shows radioactive plume of Krypton-85 over Tokyo after Reactor 3 exploded to mix oxide fuel. It shouldn't exist, let alone blow up. There should be the death of the industry right there. Should have met a million people with baseball bats looking for these friggers right away. Get it over with. That's what should have happened in a normal planet. But we don't have one. We got, we got jacked by the nuclear scumbags. Kyoto confirms 40,000 white receivers per hour at Tokyo supermarket. 40 millisievers is absurd doses. During the time of gamma, so jack that number way up. Neutron beams observed 13 times. That's the criticality and a half right there, folks. And the neutron rays were measured in Tokyo, 250 kilometers away. Can't be detected by most Geiger counters. Yeah, 50,000 Geiger counter can do it. What are you doing, George? I'm cleaning up the radiation so your kids can move into the house here. The fog at 4,000 becquels a kilogram. It never disappears. The fog. It's like an invisible blanket of death and just covers everything over and over and over and forever. What have we got here, Dana? I don't know. Oh, yeah. Let's play it anyway. What is the In a corner of the Saitama sewage treatment plant, workers take us for a look at a danger they never thought they'd have to deal with. Underneath the tarps wrapped in layers of waterproof sheeting are tons of radioactive sewage. Saitama is hundreds of kilometers away from the crippled Fukushima nuclear plant. Still, in May, alarming levels of radioactive cesium were detected in the sewage sludge. Workers said the government asked the plant's employees to store the waste, but none of them have any training in how to handle the hazardous material. We're trying to study how the radiation will affect us, but we can't understand everything. That's all we can do to cope. Treated sewage used to be passed on to cement and fertilizer companies. With it now radioactive, no one wants to take it. In a hallway, the piles stretch for one kilometer. <laughs> I one, just this one speck on a kilometer of radioactive sewage. That's pretty shitty. So is that, actually. Contamination in Tokyo suburbs is three times higher than area one miles from the nuclear meltdowns. Significant contamination of Tokyo. Scumbag Arnie Gunnarsson was also quoted. Yeah, honey, we just got a free house. Got to get rid of some garbage bags. No, it's not radiation, they're garbage bags. Can't wait to get the kids in. 276,000 becquels a kilogram radioactive cesium from soil samples near Tokyo. I covered that. Cesium from Fukushima plant fell all over Japan. Really? Never noticed. Japan Prime Minister to study setting up alternative capital away from Japan. Uchibori. We'll get you wherever you go. We'll poison you everywhere. Backup city, 300 miles west of Tokyo. Room for 200,000 slaves. This is a uh, Tokyo University students went to Fukushima to help the farmers plant the rice in a nuclear meltdown zone. And they had to go past millions of one-ton bags to get to where the rice was going to plant it. There's no need to be this evil. That's the crazy part about this story. 
What's the incentive to be this evil? Yuchi. Does his friends call him Yuchi or Yuchi Bori all the time, I wonder? Or just Bori. Radioactive black substance is found 230 kilometers from the nuclear meltdowns. It seems to be everywhere. Yeah, well soon you'll be eating a... The contaminated compost. Contaminated compost. Contaminated sewage. Contaminated uh, sediment from the water reclamation facilities. Contaminated garbage. Contaminated ashes from the incinerators. Contaminated drinking water. Contaminated air. And it, it, it's like it seems like it's endless. 400,000 times normal radioactive xenon 133 in Chiba, which that's a high, very high end nuclear meltdown when you see these types of numbers, right? These are emblematic of a nuclear meltdown. These are the confirmation isotopes that you're looking for. Newly released an NRC non regulatory committee email reveals radioactive technetium, which is another one, 99. That you're looking for, and sure enough, there it was. Strontium 90, 245 kilometers from Yokohama City, 150 times background is game over. It never goes. Look, people riding past one ton bags in their community. Oh, everything's good, Fukushima. You should come visit. The bags are so pretty. High levels. High levels. 24,000 becquels a kilogram of radioactive cesium in soil samples. Cesium contamination stretches in Japan's west coast 30,000 becquels a square meter in that uh, god no, 250 kilometers from multiple nuclear reactor meltdowns. Promoting local product in the U.S. of A. Strontium in 2200 locations in Fukushima. Not surprising, it's in Yokohama, 250 kilometers away. So imagine getting food from ground zero, because that's what he's talking about. Over half of Japan is living in contaminated. A half! There's 300 times more radiation released into the atmosphere from burning the debris than claimed by the government on top of that. That's the worst spot to be stood up in that place. 350 kilometers from Fukushima, levels are rising in the sewage plants. 40 billion becquels a kilogram. Large puddles have followed along the roadside. Don't worry, the samurai will protect you, Dana. Hot particles 400 kilometers from the meltdowns, 40 billion becquels a kilogram. Get your foods. Hot spot spreading, government to check radiation 460 kilometers from the meltdown. High level 600 kilometers from the meltdown. Do I hear 700 kilometers? 900 kilometers! Going once. Oh, new contamination map shows cesium deposits 900 kilometers from the nuclear death zones. Cesium deposit over 900 kilometers west of Fukushima. Get your Fukushima food. 1,000 kilometers from Fukushima. Professor now reveals high levels of radioactive material over 1,000 kilometers from the ongoing relentless genocide machines. Fukushima government dumping tons of radioactive mud from decontamination into the rivers at night. Well, it's better than growing food in the Dana, I know, I hear you. But who drinks from rivers besides humans? Oh, and humans. Japan government appears plan to flee Tokyo. Australia, by the way, ABC Australia. Get your fucking shame of fries. Mysterious black substances has a million becquels a kilogram of cesium. I hate the word cesium. Such a boring word, eh? It's like the expeditions where there's no species left on the coastline. With no color anywhere. No insects in the tidal zones, nothing. It's so boring each day, but you had to suffer it out. You had to find out whether it was real. 
And then you had to find out each year whether it came back or not. And after all those years, and I wasn't even healthy to begin with, the planet ran me into the ground. Press watches the government dumps the radioactive waste in Tokyo Bay. All I want to do is, because uh, I know the world's not going to go out and get the documentation. I, I get that. It took a, few, took a decade or so, but I get it. They're not going to go out and do the, the research. So the idea anyway was if we put the research up at available for everybody for free, and it is all the stuff on my website. You can take and make a documentary of it and uh, monitorize it. It's totally free because you're not going to do the research. You, you forgot to do it, and I've done it for you. So there's no excuses to say it doesn't. The research doesn't exist, right? Because it does, and I'm here five days a week to remind you too, year after year. Research right there, knock your socks off. Prove me wrong. GPS is a deal for everything. Japan considering moving capital away from Tokyo. Never get sick of that headline, to tell you the truth. There's lots of them over a long period of time. Get your focus, shame on product. Intelligent, like, if he's in America, he's going to stand there like a rock. And he's not going to have the words Fukushima premium rice in the background in America or Canada or anywhere else. Zero possibility. Intelligent agency pressured researchers with whole information. You should see the pressure they put on me over the last decade, 12 years. It's absurd pressure. It's a waste of time. All you're going to do is piss me off anyway, right? They learned their lessons the hard way. They just, I wouldn't even probably be doing this if they didn't fuck with me the way they did for years. That's the reality of it, isn't it? The more they piss on me, the more I'm going to fight back. I'm not the bad guy, and nobody's going to say I'm a bad person for being doing the things I've done, because that's not what a bad guy does, right? <clears throat> it's interesting how the Geiger counters can't find jack shit, and they're surrounded by millions of one-ton bags of highly radioactive shit. One community, over 3 million, 3,000 Geiger counters in the community to convince everybody was safe. How much did that cost? 12 million yen to censor Twitter. It's like 54,000 US. Think they stopped taking that money? All you got to do is flick a switch and silence you? There wasn't that many descending voices to begin with. It was kind of overkill. Agency funding projects to monitor online information about Fukushima crisis. Round the clock monitoring uh, scumbags like Dana. Oh, and their Twitter accounts. They closed three of my quit quitter accounts. <laughs> Twitter accounts. Hey, want to buy a car? Psst. Hey, I get you a good deal. Comes with its own Geiger counter. Made by the scumbag, uh, what was that group? The scumbags in Japan was making Geiger counters. Well, that, that's a bit of a relief. I can't remember their name because they always piss me off when I, when I say the name. So thanks for that. Tepco's worked vigilantly to close out Kroos, Kroos, Kroos. What the hell is a Kroos, Dana? I don't fucking know. I don't know. I don't know. That was two hours. Maybe I'll just know tomorrow night. <laughs> I'll know a bit more tomorrow night. Togo vice governor suggested a Fukushima draft. Everybody got to get sick and fucking die for the nuclear industry. We'll, we'll stop on this one. Japan must be the only place in the world with several million Beckwells. I'll play some videos for you now in a minute. Must be the only place in the world with several million Beckwells, radioactive isotopes in urban areas. It's incomparable, highly radioactive blue algaes and the school roots. Don't give up on me, Ichibori. 
You're a monster too. What a scumbag these people are. It won't be long for a billion people to be screaming scumbags. I can't wait. Please make it happen. Okay, so let's play a couple of videos from the day. Uh, we got a couple of donations last night. Let's mention that. Jeez, I can't see anything. I'm going blind, thank goodness. Finally, relief. Oh, crap, I can see again. Tabitha G donated 100. Thank you. And James Lucid donated 130. Thank you, James. Thank you, both of you folks. It came in very, very handy immediately. Let's play the video, I suppose. That's the only way. <clears throat> I think I got I done a good job. I'm starting to be pretty conscious. of using the videos, cameras, and catching it when it's happening. A bit of a doozy for me today, but hey, it's normal in my actual world. <laughs> this this will get, this will be self-explanatory. Let me get that back. All right, so this is this morning, I went and picked up some uh, oil for the engine. I want to change the oil on the quad because when the snow falls, I want to be in the woods. And when it went down, this is what ended up. This is 17th. Uh, let me try this again. I forgot to do something important. Here we go, let's try it. This is 17th, that's the skid plate for the tank. It's the skid plate for the tank. <sighs> so I just, I was out running around and uh, a guy come up to me in the parking lot and said, I'm pouring gas in my bottom of my truck. <clears throat> pouring gas into the bottom of the truck. And so if somebody throws a cigarette, I'm going to be in real trouble, right? <laughs> well, I got three of them off. Thank God for that impact, eh? That had impact. The three of them off. And so, this is I have to go get a cup of tea or something, but uh, that impact, that impact gun, man. Fantastic gun. <laughs> yeah. So, I turned the, uh, I got the cover off. I get the off skid plate this. off. I just turned the, the gas pump on. Here comes the gas. There we go. Let that run for a few seconds. <clears throat> Gas is. I want to tilt that way. Here we go. Look at wow. Yeah, so. I'm lucky I cocked that. If I was down the mall parking lot, somebody dropped a cigarette. I would have blew up, right? Look at that. It's got to be coming. Because it's not running out naturally, it only runs out when the pump is pressurized. And if I turn it off, turn it off, that'll stop in a few moments once the pressure is gone. So it's outside, it's the lines at the top of it. So the pump is working because it's pressuring, right? So I got a drop, I already got the skid plate off the 
I'm going to have to drop the tank and inspect the lines and see if I can find out. Because in order to drop it, I got to disconnect the lines and then I can't power it up to see where it's leaking after. It's got to be leaking from the external line. And once the pressure looks, you can see it's still flowing out because it was pressurized. So I already got the keys out. I'm just waiting for a few seconds to see. So I think I got a handle on it. Because everything is in decent shape here. <coughs> oh, well. it's, it's better than. So I got my brother in law out here. I dropped the tank down. Yeah. And so I'm just going to jump in. Because this might be helpful to other people, right? So this is the line coming out of the tank. And on the other side of this bolt is where the external engine line feeds into this. This is a bolt, right? And so, now remember, this had a, uh, a skid plate wrapped around the whole bloody thing. And so you're going to see the gas right starts right where that line is to going back this way. Because I just dropped the tank, so it's on a weird angle. Uh, I got it hanging down, right? I just wanted to show it to you. That's what I'm doing today. And you'll see it. He's my brother-in-law's going to turn the pump on. Is the lights on inside? Yeah, go ahead, push it. Now you can see it get wet up there, right? I couldn't spot it when I was underneath it, so I was taking a video and we checked it after. So the pump is working. So I haven't dropped it all the way to the ground because it was almost dark, right? And uh, I was just like, I wasn't happy anyway, let's put it that way, that I had to go do that today. But we got the tools, right? That's what the tools are for. And it's just I haven't been feeling good the whole week. And then last night I started to come around. I started uh, burping for a couple of hours. <laughs> And this morning when I woke up, I felt really good compared to the last seven days. I was worried. I was really short of breath too, right? And so if this had happened yesterday, I couldn't have done it. It was way There was no way I could have done something like this. But today, no problem at all. I was able to pull it off. Well, it was a problem, but it's miserable out there. It's winter, remember? It's going to rain tomorrow. i got to get back out there. And um, so we went to four auto parts. The highest price was 1150 <laughs> I said, you guys are maniacs. I said, is that with taxes? He said, no, no, plus taxes and shipping. And uh, the other three were the same prices, were 650 And only one of them, can or the other two couldn't get it shipped in. Only one of them was able to get it shipped in. And he can have it shipped in one day, but... 650 plus taxes right and so amazon has it but it's going to take who knows how long for it to show up but amazon has it for 200 dollars. and so not you know when i got rid of my 24,000 subscribers normally i could have covered that and we would have been back on the road right away right so the plan is tomorrow is to drop the tank down I st i'm going to order one from amazon because we raised the money last night we'll cover it right so because you can't tow the trailer, you can't tow the boat or anything without the truck, right? The truck's in great shape. It's got a lot of miles on it, uh, but they can handle it, right? I've, I've, I do all the bearings. I do all the greasing. I, I'm on top of the ball joints and the tie rods and everything else. I'm, on, I'm, I'm ahead of the game, right? And I don't drive it hard, right? And she's still in great shape. So that's got to... I got to take that out. I got to order the piece in. But what I was thinking was I was going to... I uh, used a small uh, air die grinder, put a steel brush on it, take it off, and then clean up around it and epoxy it. And Because that epoxy will, who knows, that could last a month or two, no problem, right? Or it might not work at all. But it's, if I clean it up, I got the tools to do it, right? If I clean it up and dry it out, 
keep the heat on it and temperature where I'm doing it too proper and let uh, the epoxy cure because this epoxy can cure underwater too right remember this is epoxy that I'll put on a hole in a pressurized zodiac and after a couple of hours it'll hold the pressure which is 10 12 psi and so the pressure coming out of here, I can't remember what it, the numbers are. Well, actually, I don't know, I should say. But anyway, uh, we got, thank goodness, buddy come up and said, hey, like, your, your gas is pouring out of your truck. I checked the gas tank. I lost half a tank in um, eight kilometers. So it's like, wow, I didn't even notice, right? Because I was going to two places and I was going to head back home to get the show ready for the night. And so, um, that's what I'll be doing tomorrow anyways. That's my plans, right? Because 650 plus taxes to ship in another one, which is, I'm just a little bit shocked by that kind of a price, to tell you the truth. And Amazon has them for shipping and taxes included. It was 170 something. And there was, that was the knockoff, right? And there's other, like, proper ones are 250 to 400 or something like that. None of them hit 600. So that's their markup anyway, I guess. But that's what we've been doing. Like, last year, we've done the same thing over and over and over with pieces we, we ordered from Amazon, typically, right? Not everything, but if it was applicable, if you're going to save a bag of cash and that's what you would do right uh, i figured hey the show was so boring i might as well show you the boring you got the rest of the boring shit and so i'm really happy because we raised um 230 last night and that covers the expenses by ordering it through amazon right and if i clean it all up and the f and the epoxy works then on mobile till the new one shows up uh, and it's a big job to finish the disconnect to get it down the you know i gotta be careful i don't have any sparks <laughs> blow up tomorrow i like i didn't blow up today i really am but uh the show tonight was uh we caught that story uh Ichibori, Maso from Fukushima Prefecture, the governor of Fukushima Prefecture, allegedly, allegedly in US of A, and got 60 supermarkets that are going to carry, just those super, supermarkets only he's talking about. He's on a four-day tour, so there's more to come. And they, they promise they'll take 100 tons each year of deadly Fukushima rice so they can destroy your loved ones and your friends and your families. I, I said that's mighty Japanese of them. I don't understand how this is acceptable, okay? I, I don't understand it. And I know the people that are here, the majority of people that are back and forth every night with these programs, you know, you're like me, right? Where you, where you care, you actually care about the species and you care about the planet and you care about the incredible harm and danger that we all face and the species. And so we're going to finish the poll off with 57 votes. Should journalists, scientists also, and other scumbags who downplayed Fukushima radiation get a million, a million dollar fine and lose their degrees? And somebody said no. Uh, how cute. Ah, he said no. Well, the reality of it is, the majority of the people um, yeah, I should carry. I I normally do carry a food, uh, and I was thinking that myself. I don't have my food, uh, fire extinguisher with me. Dana, get with the program. I should have been out there when I was working, too. I was a bit nervous because I'm by myself. The ground is soft from snow and rain and rain and snow. 
and I got my brother-in-law to come up. And because I'm on a, like a slope, the way I go underneath it, I can't come back up. <laughs> so I need him to grab my feet and pull me back out if I get stuck. And so I'm going to drop the tank tomorrow. we got rain all day tomorrow, so I'll be out working in the rain. I'm going to drop the tank. That's going to be a disaster, I can tell you right now. But we can do it, so that's cool. We got the tools, that's what we got the tools for, so I can not be a slave to the machine shops and, and, and the mechanics, which are going to just fucking gouge you. And cold weather is going to set in in a couple of days. So I'm desperate to resolve this anyway. Because everything else is fine. Okay, well, if you made it this far, don't forget to vote. Yeah, JB will, but you got to get it pretty clean for the well to stay on it. Two part epoxies, from my experience, works really good with gas. I used to use JB Well on all kinds of stuff. When I was a commercial diver working on the ocean, we kept it all the time. So yeah, I'm familiar with it. I just think epoxy is better when it comes to gas. The two-part epoxy that I got is uh, pretty expensive. It's $150 for a small bottle of it. This was two bottles, but... I got to get it off. I got to clean it up. I got to change the filter, the gas filter right away. Because once I start grinding at that, well, not grinding, but hitting it with the wire wheel, I'm worried, right, that it's going to backfire on me. I'll, I'll figure it out. I've been down, I've been at um, mechanical all my life, right? And I, and I got a good tool set built up now after the last couple of years, thanks to everybody. Yeah, uh, no, it is a nightmare, that's right. Okay, so we'll let everybody get back to their nightmares. I'll get to mine in the morning. <laughs> Because mine is coming, baby. But it was just, it was almost dark, and I, I wasn't defeated. I was just, well, I'll, it's better if when there's more daylight, because it was starting to get dark. And it's, it's hard to get the light up into these places. But I got it, I got the motor draw, or the tank is hanging there right now. So I only got one more hanger, but I got to disconnect it before I can drop it any further. And only can get one off before it got one of the connections off. The other one is, I, I, I'll figure it out hopefully. Oh, I, no, I will. I got, I got no choice. <laughs> it's all good. It's just part of the madness that I go through and it doesn't hurt to share it with everybody. That's all. I hope it doesn't anyway. Hugs for everybody. We'll see everybody tomorrow night. Have a great day. We'll see... Um, See how it goes. We'll update you tomorrow night. On Wednesday tomorrow night. If you made it this far, like I say, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. It probably won't work, but there's no harm trying. We'll see everybody in a few hours. Take care.